Hello everyone, thanks for joining me today. And if you're new, welcome to my channel and hello to you. Okay, this is um, series two of my bougie colors, my moody bougie colors. So um, I had this color palette uh, in my brain and I didn't think that I, ha I love doing colors uh, the three just like three and you get like this big bang for your buck with just three colors but i felt like it needed more glitz and more uh shimmer so we have um a beautiful uh gold we have a copper and then we have like a i don't know like a medium gold copper i don't know we'll we'll figure it out once i show you my colors and we'll together figure it out what color it should be called uh, it's called Whiskey Brown, but um, it doesn't look brown right now, but oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. But anywho, um, so this is going to be really fun. Um, we're going to do a large canvas. This one is 20 do, 20 do, 22 by 28. So I'm excited about that. We're just going to do one big old bloom on there. So let's get you down to the canvas. I have my Java all ready to go. And let's have some fun. I'll get you down. Okay, we had a snafu with the uh, canvas. I kept looking at it and I, I usually place my canvases against the wall before I put my pillow down just to make sure they're not warped. And I did that this morning. I don't know what happened. Maybe I just didn't have enough coffee. I don't know. But anywho, I... Um, Thought it was great, and then I was looking at it um, as I was about to put the pillow down and was positioning it, and it felt a little wonky. So I looked at it again, and oh my goodness, it was warped. So now we are doing a 24 by 24. It's still going to be very beautiful. I'm kind of bummed, though, because I really like that size. It's a really fun size. Um, okay, first up, we have Amsterdam phthalo uh, green and phthalo blue, and I added in white. And to get this beautiful, beautiful light teal. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. So, um, and look at my circle, my paint, my pillow. Um, I did cheat a little and I grabbed some and put it here, but it's more in the center. So I, I focused on that one. So we're going to go right in the center here. And we're gonna add a nice fair amount because I really wanna see this color. My goodness, it's getting thick in here already. Okay, next up is the beautiful, beautiful, beautiful um, Chroma. This is uh, their copper. Um, let me look at something first. I wanna make sure that I'm doing this right. Now I am off. I'm wrong, wrong, wrong. Yeah, okay, well, that's my kickstand. This is the Whiskey Brown, and um, it's a pigment, and it's from my uh, lovely friend, Andrea, who gifted me this uh, Whiskey Brown. So we're gonna put a fair amount of that in there because I definitely wanna see it. This next one up is Phalo uh, Green and Phalo Blue, but um, I didn't add any white, and I, I apologize. I don't know if I said that or not, but I added white with the first color. I just wanted this one to be darker. So this is the blue and the green. So we're going to put a little bit of that in there as well. And I don't want to see a whole lot of this, but I definitely want to um, encourage this color in there along the lines of um, the bougie, moody, tones. This here is the Chroma Copper and it's absolutely gorgeous. It's got a beautiful shimmer to it. Oh my goodness, it's so, so pretty. So we're going to put a nice fair amount of that in there. You know, I want the golds and the coppers and the whiskey brown to pretty much be the star of the show. Um, with the moody bouginess of the uh, the teals. Now this one is brown. I started out with um, 
Hum, hum, hum. Let me think about this. I started out with Van Dyke Brown. It wasn't brown enough. It was a little bit too gray. Then I added in Umber, Burnt Umber. Then I added in just a little tiny bit more, um, or just a little tiny bit of black. So we've got our brown in there, and this is where our moodiness comes in with the brown. So we'll do that and add some of that in there. I'm dripping everywhere. So, um, okay, so there we have that. And then last but not least is my gold. Oops, I just about knocked my whole cell activator tub on the floor. Oh my word. This is my gold, and I did uh, the golden iridescent gold fine, and then I did the chroma uh, Xanadu and added that in there. And isn't that a pretty gold? Oh, my, my. So pretty. All right, so we're just going to do that. Now, um, I wanted to relayer. I'm not going to layer with any brown. I think what I will do, though, is take a little bit of this lighter teal and just kind of plop that in the center. Gosh, that thickened up so fast. I don't understand why it did that. I was so careful not to let that happen. I'm just going to kind of drizzle that on there. Okay, so now, do I want to see anything else going on in there? Um, I'm not going to be afraid of this, the copper. And I'm not going to be afraid of my whiskey brown. This is by Sia, by the way. C-E-Y-A, Sia. Whoop! Gosh, got loose fingers there. I just about drop that now. And then we're just going to do that. You know, oh, oh my gosh, did you see that? What is going on with me? You know what? I think I need to lay off the coffee. We're going to wipe that right off. Gosh, I'm telling you. Okay, throw that away. Alrighty, so now let's just get you back in the center here a little bit. There we go. All right, and we have um, three to one oxide black. Put that there again until I move it to spin. Uh, Amsterdam oxide black with the Australian flow trough. All right, and here we go. We're going to have high fan, cool air. Uh, just a little bit more. There we go. All righty, here we go.
All right, I need to stop because there's some really cool effects and I don't want to I don't want to disrupt that. Um, I'm going to have to set this up a little bit, let it set up. This here I may have to take out because I don't really like that. Uh, but there's some massive coolness in here everywhere and I didn't want to disrupt that. So let's give that a little second or two and then we'll be right back. Alrighty, uh, set up pretty nice. There's some really cool cells going on everywhere. Uh, let me move this out of the way. We're going to just start with a spin. Let's see, make sure my stick is not going to knock my paints over. Um, we're going to give this just a gentle spin. I want to see um, how much paint I have uh, the pillow. And I'm going to have to pull this down. I can tell that already. So we're going to do that right now. I have my canvas on top of a board on top of my spinner with some push pins, little push pins on the bottom to help that along. So now what I wanna do is, I want it to just do this, just a little tiny bit, just to walk it over, get it down just a little bit toward you. And I feel like I may have to add some paint. All right, let's do this again. little board here. I know I'm going to make a mess. So did anyone see the eclipse? Today is Wednesday and my son uh, and my husband, they drove to Ohio where a half a million people went to Ohio to go see the eclipse. They had a ball. And um, I actually am going to, um, I'm going to put the picture that my son took of the eclipse. He put his glasses that they had to use um, over the lens of his camera, his phone, on his phone, and was able to grab a picture. And it is absolutely phenomenal, really cool. As well as this, this is very cool. I'm loving this. It's very bougie, uh, what I was looking for. And um, yeah, I think this is looking pretty cool. The colors are phenomenal. Um, we do need to spin again, but I need to add paint here. So I'm gonna pause you for a moment and I'll be right back. All right, let's do this. We're gonna give it a little spin a here. Get this ready. Oh, we're not flicking paint yet. Um, I really want this to kind of come down, if that's possible. i um, not quite sure if it'll happen or not. We'll see. may have to tilt it just a little wee bit. Mm, let's see here what we have. Oop, I missed. There we go. Ooh, so, so pretty. Okay, let's see here. I think what I'm going to do is just going to lift just a little bit. Oh, we're not on my board anymore. There we go. Okay, just going to lift a little. And maybe we can get some of that to come down just a scant. I think it is moving ever so slightly. I don't want to raise this up huge because it will distort everything. Okay, let's go. We're going to do this again. I'm not real crazy about that white spot right there. I don't know if I want to scrape some of that off from there. That little point, I don't know. We'll see. 
So I really want that to kind of come a little bit further, but it's not cooperating at all. But once we get, once we stop spinning, I can look at it a little bit better and see what I want to do. May, may not do anything because sometimes you just can't because then you ruin everything. All right, let's take a look. Okay. Um, it's looking good. I do need to put a little bit of paint there um, to get it to come off the side. Let's see, we'll do this. We'll just grab some from here and I'm just going to place it right there because that will just spin right off. There we go. Okay, this will come off, this will come off. Um, I'm gonna try and bring this down a little bit my way, a little bit more, just a teeny bit more, and then we're going to do that. Woo, there we go, flinging paint. And I had a lot of pillow on there, but um, as I was blowing that one petal out, I kind of thought to myself, you need to kind of blow a little bit more in the center of the two because you just might have kind of a wonky little spot there and look what happened. I got a wonky spot, but we'll see. I may just continue to spin off camera so I don't bore you. All right, here we go. All right, wow, is that pretty. Oh my goodness. These colors are just amazing. The copper, the whiskey brown, the uh, gold, everything just incorporated so well. And the brown did its thing. It gave it its depth with the uh, darker teal and the lighter teal. Yeah, I'm very, very happy with it. I'm just not thrilled with that. But, um, you know, I've got some negative space there, some here, some there. At least that came off. Happy about that. Um, not quite sure the orientation, but um, it sure is pretty. All right, let's just take a little peek here. I just want to see the depth. Shaky hands. You know, it's really not bad. Um, it's just on the very tip of the skewer, so that's a good thing. So um, let's take it down and um, show you the wet results. Alrighty, here we are. Here's the bottom. Uh, it's just so pretty. There's just so much depth and movement with this piece. I'm so excited uh, for the shimmer of that whiskey brown, and I'm going to show it to you right here. You can see how it incorporated with the brown, the darker brown. It is absolutely beautiful. The uh, chroma uh, copper pulled out very well. The uh, gold pulled out very well. Obviously, the teal did. Everything just played together nicely. No one competed and um, very, very happy. I mean, this is just phenomenal. Sorry for the glare there or the shadow, but can you see the copper and the gold and that whiskey brown all incorporated together? How nice. Oh my gosh, look at that little bed of cells right there. Oh my goodness, so, so pretty. Um, and then I'm gonna back it up a little bit, get you back in focus. We've got that action going on. I actually did spin it quite a bit more, and I was able to get that one little point off from the side there, that corner, and I feel like that looks a little bit better. Um, it's not exactly what I was hoping for, but you know, everything else that's going on in here, I think speaks volumes. Um, this is really cool in here. And then we have up there. Pretty cool. This I love. 
Oh my goodness, that is just so pretty. Love, love, love it. Love all of it. Yeah, it turned out great. I'm sorry that it wasn't the 22 by 28. I love that size, but it is what it is. So I guess I'll have to bring it back and exchange it. Thank you so much for joining me today and letting me into your home. I so appreciate all of you so very much. Give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. I would so appreciate it. And until the next canvas, everyone, I'll see you later. You guys all have a great day. Bye.